So hello everybody, welcome to my little corner. My name is JP and as you have seen in the title of this video, this will be the part where I will show to you the books that I got since the last year. So this will be again books that I have bought in the span of at least a year already. So don't be alarmed by the amount of books. I didn't buy all of them at the same time. It's just a gradual spiral down. <laughs> so yes, we'll start off with some Harry Potter books as you can already tell by the color. This is an impulse buy. I really don't need it. I have already multiple copies of Harry Potter's and the Sorcerer's or Philosopher's Stone. But I guess it's the 20th anniversary. <laughs> So, of course, they will release some special editions. Special editions in the colors of all the houses of Hogwarts. So, I got, of course, um, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and of course, Hufflepuff. Uh, these are the hardcover editions of the book and I also got the paperback editions of course uh, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff and I also got the new editions for uh, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them uh, Quidditch Through the Ages and Tales of Beetle the Bard uh, some Rick Riordan books this is The Trials of Apollo, The Dark Prophecy and Camp Half Blood Confidential, your real guide to demigod training camp. So I guess if I read this one, I'm gonna be like a person that's like having a demigod training. I don't know. <laughs> I got the two recent releases of Adam Silvera. They both die at the end. This is the latest release and also History is All You Left Me. I read this one already. Again, it made me cry. So I'm expecting this one will do the same to me. God, these books are so amazing. Next one, I got V. Schwab's A Conjuring of Life. This is the last book in the Darker Shades of Magic trilogy. Read this book, love the ending, super good ending. I can't wait for the next part uh, or the next trilogy in this world. I just wish that I will be seeing some of the original characters in the next trilogy. Next one, I got Taran Mataru's uh, Battle Mage. Uh, this is the last book in the Summoner trilogy. Again, I have finished reading this book already and amazing ending. I really didn't expect that ending. The ending was actually epic. Like there was there were lots of good action and battle scenes and there were some good strategies and good thinking in the characters. That's why I love 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 the protagonist of this one. He uses his mind and he compensates some of his uh, lack of abilities by thinking. I got Connor Franta's Note to Self. Again, big fan of this uh, YouTuber. If you don't know, Connor Franta is a YouTuber. He is uh, writing some books, and this one is no exception. Uh, it's just as amazing as his first book. Becky Albertalis, The Upside of Unrequited. I had a good impression with her for, uh, with Simon VS, and I haven't read this one, but I'm looking forward to reading this in the future. Next one, Benjamin Ali signs. I don't know how to pronounce his surname, The Inexplicable Logic of My Life. Again, big fan of Aristotle and Dante, read this one, it's just as amazing, just as profound as the way he had written Aristotle and Dante, so, and plus the shiny cover, it's actually amazing. <laughs> Neil Gaiman's uh, Norse Mythology, I have been in a Norse or Viking mood lately, especially with the manga that I am reading right now, plus uh, Marvel Store. Plus, plus Rick Riordan's uh, own Norse uh, mythology books right now. Can't wait to start this. Oh, forgot. I forgot to include this in my Harry Potter haul. It's the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the original screenplay. Again, just look at that gold against a black background. I got uh, Elise Kova's newest books, Alchemist of Loom and Dragons of Nova. I have finished reading Alchemist of Loom already. Such a good world building really love the characters so I really can't wait to delve into Dragons of Nova which is book 2 and if you have seen the cover of book 3 already it will just go along with these two books Dan and Phil go outside my top youtubers again supporting them the last book in the savage song duology Victoria Schwab's or V.E. Schwab's Our Dark Duet love this duology such a dark premise in the world um, again very profound in the terms of writing and all of the ideas and thoughts of the main characters will really make you thinking of what you are doing in your life and uh, maybe do some less bad things in your life 
Next one is Mackenzie Lee's The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. I didn't plan on buying this book, but when I heard that the protagonist is a bisexual, I needed to read this book. So, got this one. I haven't read it yet, but it's on the top of my TBR list. Legion by Julie Kagawa. The problem with this series is that I haven't started it yet, and this is book 4 already. The reason why I'm still continuing on buying this one is that the cover is amazing. It's related to dragons, which is a plus point. But I really need to start start this series already because I believe book 5 is just around the corner. So I kind of don't want spending money more on books that I am not reading, but the cover is just really enticing to me. If you, if you have seen my book outlet haul, of course, I got God's Grave. This is the book number 2 in Nevernight Chronicle. This is by Jay Kristoff. Again, just look at that cover. I got two of Sarah J. Mass latest book, A Court of Rings and Ruins. This is the last book in the uh, Akotar trilogy. Uh, I didn't like too much the ending. I mean, I like how it ended, but there are some or several points in which I didn't quite like. And also Sarah J. Mass, A Tower of Dawn, which I absolutely hate the cover. And I don't know when I will be reading this one. I got the two version or the covers for the song Rising by Samantha Shannon. I just wanted to get this one but I thought this one sold out already so I got this one but apparently this is still available so now I am stuck with two copies of it. And Susan Denard's book number two in the Truth Witch. I don't know if it's a trilogy or what but yeah Wind Witch is the second book of this series. Victoria Aveyard's The King's Cage. Honestly I was disappointed when I heard that this was not the last book. I thought it was just originally gonna be a trilogy. I thought it's being dragged out already at this point. So I'm kind of losing interest in this series already. The book 2 wasn't too good so when I heard that it was being extended I kind of losing my interest already. Let's see if I will read this one and if I will continue this series. It was controversial at some point in the booktube community. Uh, it's Carved the Mark by Veronica Roth. Some Fallen Kingdoms books. Of course book 1 is The Fallen Kingdom. Book 2 is The Rebel Spring. And book number 5 is The Crystal Storm. I'm currently on book number 2, The Rebel Spring right now. Uh, I think I'm in the manga mood right now. That's why I am not not reading too much books right now. The last book before I got into a manga splurge is The Rebel Spring. So if I got or get out of my manga marathon right now, I will delve back. And the last two books that I got are the latest books of Cassandra Clare, which is uh, Tales of Shadow Hunter Academy and also Lord of Shadows, which is the book number two for Dark Artifices trilogy. I must say, Cassandra Clare, if you are watching this video, can you please release this book to you already? Because, because that ending, just that ending. Can't wait for book three already. Can you give it now? 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 Uh, those are all of the books that I got in the past year or so. Again, uh, some of the books I really, really want. Some of the books I just got for the cover. A bit of waste of money, but it's really nice to look at. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up as it will help me a lot. And also, if you like the content that you are seeing in this video or in this channel, click the subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!